I, for me, music is, was always everything. You know, when I grew up, uh, you can imagine uh, coming to to a different country as a young child and then not speaking the language and having troubles to fit in um, was not very easy for me when I was young. Um, but there was one thing that never left me and that did not say you cannot speak German or you are not good enough for anything. And that was music. Hi, Misha. Hello. It's so wonderful to talk to you. And you are in Germany at the moment. Yes. Thank you very much. It's wonderful to talk to you too. Thanks for the invitation. I am right now, I'm in Germany, right? Yes. Yeah. And where are you based? At the moment, I'm based in Bavaria. Uh, it's a kind of special area. It's called Algoi. So yeah, Füssen, it's very, um, we have a lot of water, a lot of uh, yeah, mountains. So it's very, a lot of nature. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. But uh, were you born there? No, I was born in Czech Republic originally. Um, okay. And I was two when, uh, um, when I came to Vienna and I grew up in Vienna and Austria. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, well, and what took you to Germany then? My first job actually took me to Germany. Uh, no, it was not my first. It was my second job. Uh, my first job I did in Vienna and my second job uh, took me to Bremen, which is northern Germany near uh, near the ocean, actually near Hamburg. Yes. Oh, yes. I see. Okay. So, but now you're singing. I mean, you've got such a beautiful voice and, and I love your music. And it's, it's uh, where did this start? Oh, I was always singing um, really? my whole life. Um, I was singing. My mother says I was singing before I could even talk. Um, and I was singing everywhere. I was not shy. I was a very happy girl, let's say that. And I was always like dancing and singing. And I think uh, they had to, um, um, it was hard to shut me up. <laughs> so I was a very <laughs> nerve wracking child, I guess, because, you know, it's I guess it's easier for parents to to have a child that you know sits around and is you know, yeah. and, you know but I was always jumping around and dancing around and singing and that's that's how everything started <laughs> really so but did, did you have um always the idea that this is what you was that you were going to do well um I have to say I have a different um how to say a different um, way to think about music and a different uh I, for me, music is, was always everything, you know, when I grew up, uh, you can imagine uh, coming to, to a different country as a young child and then not speaking the language and having troubles to fit in um, was not very easy for me when I was young. Um, but there was one thing that never left me and that did not say you cannot speak German or you are not good enough for anything. And that was music. And music was always there for me. When I was sad, I was singing. When I was happy, I was singing. So music was like this wonderful person that always loved me and was always there for me. So that's my kind of relationship to music. So um, I love doing music. And there was, for me, when I grew up, there was like a bubble, which I, uh, I had my fantasies. I was like the fantasizing I'm, I'm on stage and I'm performing and I'm doing, I'm playing a role. So that was my, um, how do you say, escape from reality. Um, so that's, I never, of course, I always wanted to sing, but I never thought um, I could, I would be able to because, because people said, what do you think? You think you can be a singer, you should learn something real and that's, there's no possibility. So for me, it was more, daydreaming every day and uh, the, the biggest wish to always sing because I was singing anyway but uh, yeah that was the biggest wish and I didn't think about that I I mean I did think that I would never be able to do it but uh, I was so I'm very yeah. thankful <laughs> yeah but yeah. it's so interesting that you're saying about the that that music was sort of your um way of of um fitting in or or you know that it was not a language anymore it was just music and i think this is also what we see in the world and it's that music bring people together because there is no language it's the language is music and this is this what what everybody is saying i always say music is love and uh, yeah. that's why people come 
together because everybody, every heart understands love. Um, and um, yeah, that's why it's a, an international language and yeah. um, people think to it. And uh, it's, I, I cannot imagine a world without music. Yeah. No, I'm I'm hundred percent with you there, and I also I mean I'm in love with love. So I I think and I think really that that um, I think this is what artists also do is you know by singing and by uh, showing their art, it's a it's a form of of showing love, you know, and this is why we accept it so gladly. Yes, uh, that I would always also say that it heals. It can heal the soul. Yeah. If you problems if you you know you 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 sing that's how it is for me i'm sure um, uh, it's for a lot of people like that as well it just calms down it lets you it lets you feel the heart and you know forget about the the brain let's say about the problems and just go into the heart again and then in the heart and at the moment it's it's always just good everything is fine at the moment it's always it's a lot of uh, pressure when you have things going on and it's not so nice things are not nice you're always thinking about them and I think music takes you totally away from your pain problems to to your heart at the moment and at the moment always everything is good yeah so, so that's and yeah what I also think about sometimes is that um and music also transports you to time periods in your life, you know, because sometimes when I hear a song, then I think, oh, yeah, we were in the car driving somewhere or I was here. And and isn't it so lovely that that it takes you in your imagination to wonderful times? Yes, it's wonderful, isn't it? it, it yeah. it's crazy actually that that uh, that music can do stuff like that if you have like a special as you say a special thing thing happening in your life and you will always remember it when that music comes on the radio so that's that's yeah. very a very thing yeah so but now let's talk about your music so and, and you sing in german i do sing in german most of the time yeah yeah and do you write your own music as well yes i yeah. do songs that I sing that are not from me but I do have songs uh, d which I've written myself yes and now how did this come about so um because you said you were working did, in in Germany and it, did you do a different job than uh, well uh, yes uh, not a different job but um, a different genre um I come from musical theater that means that I have been playing roles in musical theater on stage okay. hmm. uh, um, um, I started very young and um, I um, did uh, a lot of productions, let's say long run production, that's how you call it, where you play every day, you play a role uh, and you sing and you dance and you act, that's musical, I'm sure, sure you know, and that's yeah. what I did a lot of uh, years. Uh, before I started uh, doing my own music and releasing my own songs, that's what mainly I did before. Yeah, so you you trained as a dancer as well, and you did the whole. Well, I'm not really trained as a dancer. I did do the conservatory in Vienna, uh, the yeah. the official one. So um and um, I did study for three years. I did study ballet and dance as well. But um, I would say it it was not uh, the main focus on that. So I did uh, singing and acting was always my main main focus and. The things I wanted to do. So I do know how to move, but uh, I'm not a dancer. But uh, the plays I did, um, I was kind of singing and acting and uh, playing nice roles, main roles. I'm sure you know things like uh, Dance of the Vampire or Jekyll and Hyde oh, or yeah. Eta. Um, we will rock you from Queen Productions like oh, that. Wow. That's, yeah. that's where it is. Yeah. And and now this this basically gave you a platform to 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 go further. So to to say, okay, now I want to do my own music and I want to do my own recordings. Was there a definite time where you thought this is really what I want to do for myself? Well, I always uh, had record contracts uh, next to my musical career. Um, I had, after We Will Rock You in Cologne, uh, I had a major deal in America with Def Jam Island Records. Uh, but at that time, I was singing um, R&B Soul. 
Um, and oh. I was living in America for a, <laughs> for a time as well in Atlanta. So I always wanted to do um, just not just one genre. I was always no. into doing different styles and uh, I wanted to sing rock. I wanted to sing pop. I wanted to sing classic, uh, classical. And um, that's how I, after a time, then I managed to, to be, um, how do you self-employed? How do you say that? Yeah, a freelancer, yeah. because that was my luxury when I said, okay, I want to have the, the, the difference. I want to have a, one time, I want to play in the Vita, and then I want to, to sing a rock concert. And the next day I do a Schlager concert. So, um, uh, and then maybe I do an operetta evening where I do classical. I, I oh, love wow. the... I love the different genres and um, that's that's my way of expressing myself and it makes me happy, yeah. <laughs> but isn't this amazing that you can go to all these, you know, you can, you can do all these different genres? Well, that's what it is. They say actually yeah. it's not possible. And when I uh, started uh, classical, I um, in, in conservatory, I started uh, doing the classical um studying as well and then i had to choose so it was whether i do classical or pop because for the voice it's not possible to do both which is not true as i <laughs> as i say um, but i had to of course ex i had to experiment with my voice a lot and and see how is it possible because it's really two different totally different techniques you are using and um and it's very it's not easy to switch and you know of course if you love to sing always sing you try out you try out you try out and and you know um it's as if you would have um a singing lesson but uh, but you're doing it for yourself and um that's how i worked on my voice and uh, it's possible and i like um, to express myself in different way, ways yeah yes. and i I've, I've been talking to a few artists who say the same thing and who say that they they love uh switching from one genre to the other and I think isn't it amazing that you can I think influence the one to the other you know if you can you can bring something from the one to the other and I think this might makes it so interesting if you can yeah. do that yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now and now um so mainly now at the moment so you you have a a, a cd out not a cd or, which is or a single, single. But I have singles out, yes. Um, the first um, experiment uh, single which I uh, brought out, I don't know if you heard it, is Die Königin der Nacht from, from uh, it's a cover from Mozart, where yeah. I sing both parts, the coloratura, the opera, um, with, uh, um, uh, with German uh, lyrics and my own kind of uh, verses, where I made this uh, pop, classic pop uh, Schlager, I say to it, <laughs> out yeah. of it. Now, um, just a few weeks ago, I released a, a Christmas song in, in German, which is called Winter Wunder Welten, which is that kind I of heard, yeah. the band. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. Um, thank yeah. you very much. And uh, yeah, we are just about to work on new songs, um, a little bit more mainstream, more mainstream, more pop, um, but as well involved is the classical theme, of course. Oh, okay. So you bring that in, but I think it's great because it it attracts also an audience who um, as, uh, they are not necessarily in the classical range uh, or classical interest, but that they that you now attract them to make the classical sound a little bit different. Yes, uh, that's true, and I really love that because I really saw that a lot of people who who are used to go to the theater um, love the song. So that means like people who go to an operetta sometimes, so they go and see see a musical, and then go maybe see a Schlager concert, like German Schlager. I'm, I'm guess I guess you know. So yeah. so it kind of combines a lot of people who who yeah who are interested in in more in more genres and actually i have to say who just who is used to just hearing one kind of genre if mm -hmm. if i'm at home sometimes i hear chill out music when i'm you know when i need to calm down or meditation music and then i like to hear rock or r&b or just a musical so you know people have different um, tastes as well and and they don't just hear the same music um, every day i think so yeah yeah, totally. Now, tell me, over the, the lockdown period in Germany, were, were you uh, uh, affected a lot? Because you do a, a lot of recordings. 
um, were, did you have time to say spend a lot of do time writing or, or how did you find this time? Yes, well, I have to tell you that I'm in a lockdown right now uh, until oh, tomorrow, you? as it looks. I mean, it's not as extreme as uh, the last time, but uh, we are in lockdown because we had more than a thousand people um, per day being infected. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, the first time was uh, kind of a shock, um, but I have to say I had a lot, a lot of work and um, everything was canceled from from 100% to 0%. So there was nothing postponed, everything was canceled. So that was kind of crazy. On the other hand, I had a lot of time um, because we just moved here kind of a few months ago before the pandemic started. A pandemic started, um, we had a lot of time to see to to see where we landed actually where we are there's yeah. so much so so many mountains there's so there's wood there's it's beautiful nature is just beautiful and of course if there's no people outside you can really feel the power of nature and uh, of course we have a dog and we were going outside for a, a lot a lot with her and um, <clears throat> i have to say i i, I was I, I got really how do you say still um I mean, really quiet yeah, yeah, inside yeah, yeah. really really quiet i did not sing at all and then i just um had the idea for die Königin der nacht where i was like thinking who are you what do you want to do next and and then uh, it came up you know just you love the aria of more much you sing it so often when like in the bathroom or whatever <laughs> so why don't you do your own song out of it and then i was really I was just sitting down and I was writing and writing and how can you, you know, make a, a pop song out of it. It's not easy because it's an aria is not a, right away a pop song which you can just take and and it's ready. So you have to find out which part can I put together and which would be what and and then you write lyrics to it. And yeah, it was a very, very creative um, phase, I have to say. And I'm since since, you know, I'm used to getting along with uh, hard times. I'm, I'm, I just see it very positive and I see what can I do? What does this situation bring to me? And what can I do? How can I use it the best for myself? So it was a that's, good time actually. Yeah, that's amazing that you say that because I think it's it was a, a time, a difficult time, but like you say, it was also a creative time where you could be a little bit still in yourself and and find out. Yeah, I don't no. want to say it was easy and everything is, uh, you know, fine and think positive and everything's going to be fine. So it's not like that. I'm well aware of uh, the negative sides, but I, I am a person that then goes to the positive side and says, okay, yeah. what can I be, can I thank be thankful for, for, can I yeah. be, you know, I do have still water. I do have something to eat and let's see what it's going to bring. Of course, I'm aware a lot of um, tragic mm -hmm. things and but then I, uh, I I I have the feeling it's always my it's also my how do you say not goal but that's who I am I was always the one who who's who's positive for the people so who who, yeah. who, who cheers up the people and that's that's who I always was and that's that I was well aware in the in the phase of that and I did talk to a lot of people and I did did that what I can do the best so I try to cheer them up and say come on you know yeah I know it's hard but try try to be positive and and we, we're gonna make it yeah well yeah. I spoke to a lot of artists over the lockdown period um also the zoom interviews and this is what most said you know that yes we agree it's a difficult time but so much positivity came from it and they could see in themselves as well so i think it's i think it's what artists have that ability you know to to sort of get on with it and and create and do start seeing new possibilities and i think this is why these interviews that i do is so important i think that people learn from you and learn that you um how you do it and how you can you know reinvent even in a difficult situation so that's wonderful i guess because artists are um, you know being an artist is also not uh, always very easy i guess because people yeah. who are artists um they you know because they can't do 
do it different because they need to express like that. It's not like they can't do another job, but uh, but they need to, to to express like that. And that's probably because they have been through a lot of bad times or hard times. They used to to go through it and to say, okay, well, let's look in in front, not back, and let's go, let's try, or yeah. So they are maybe used used to that more, and maybe it's their. I wish I would know the the word the berufung. It's there. It's there. That's what yeah, they the are calling. here. The yeah, the calling. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah, it's the calling to to do that for the people yeah. to 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 be positive and and take them with them. Exactly. I, I don't know if you know, but I took um, I photographed 500 artists in their windows in, in Vienna. Oh, okay. And, yeah, over the lockdown period. And this mm -hmm. was the one thing that I realized is that, you know, we would talk. Uh, so, for example, I would ask about their concerts and so on, and everybody would say the same thing, that things were postponed and canceled and some had difficult financial situations. But the moment I ask, okay, so now we take the picture in the window. The moment they appear in the window, it's like uh, a switch, you know? It was like, um, now they just do it. They do their thing in the window, you know? And, it, and this, this fascinated me that it was really from one conversation and then, okay, now I'm here, I'm, I'm doing my thing. And I, this is what I think is so wonderful from that mindset, you know, let, let's do it. Let's, let's get on with it. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Look like um, show must go on, yeah, right? Yeah. When you say it's the same, you, you yeah. even though you had whatever problems you have, you, you need to, to be there and, and, and do that for the people and, and bring, mm. you know, bring the love or whatever the feelings. And you're not supposed to think uh, a lot about yourself or not at all. And then just uh, do the job. And maybe that's, that's what we are used to. Yeah. And the, the one thing that I found also very interesting, and actually I was criticized for that because somebody said that I make the artist smile, you know, I make it as if it's not a problem, but the, in, from the 510 I photographed, not one I asked to smile. I, ju I never asked people to yeah. smile for a picture, yet they were all in, in this um, mood, you know, like smiling through the window and so on. And this now for me is, it means so much because I, I realized I didn't ask them to, yet they did, you know. Mm -hmm. So in, in themselves, I think they were although the situation was not good, but in themselves, they were um, maybe happy, you know, that, that they, I, yeah. I'm in them being, yeah, showing yeah. who they are. Yeah, yeah. Um, and shining. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. this is what I think, the, I think the world can learn from that, you know. I think it's a, it's a very interesting um, uh I don't know, is it a concept or a, or an idea from a person that if you can go, if you can, if you study art or if you can express yourself through art, then it also changed the way you look at life, mm -hmm. you know? So this is, uh, yeah. Well, Definitely. this is why I do all these interviews because I think nice. it's, it's, yeah, it's people learn from, from that. Thank you very much for doing that. <laughs> No, it's well. I I learned That's so nice. much. It's it's so wonderful for me too. But now, Misha, tell me. Um, oh, first, I want to ask you now. Before a concert, do you have little rituals? <laughs> I do. I don't know if I want to uh, tell you. Uh, oh, tell, okay. tell. You don't um, have to. But... No. I do uh, go into myself and I am very positive and I ask for everybody to be, you know, how do you, I don't know, uh, to be happy, to be, to be everything good. I, I call everything good to, to, to the, for the performance, for the audience yeah. and for myself, for everybody who works. So that, so it's, it's, uh, I try to, yeah, to lift up the energy. Let's say that. Yeah. <laughs> And do you have specific meals that you eat? Can you eat before a performance? Or um, uh, I do not have specific meals, but I cannot eat before a performance. Okay. Definitely, yeah. uh, the only thing when I have a, a and I do eat, let's say four hours before. If yeah. I didn't eat before, then I will take uh, like a banana backstage. So if mm. I'm, I'm really, I'm really hungry that I can, uh, yeah, that I can ha have something in my stomach, but 
it's not too extreme. I can't, I can't really, I cannot sing uh, when I'm, when I have a feel sorry. Right. I mean, yeah. I could, but it's not, not, yeah, it's not as I'm used to. Yeah. Well, the banana thing, I, I uh, hear a lot. I, I hear a lot of artists, yeah, they eat a banana before the time. Pianists <laughs> as well, they eat the banana. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, it gives power and it's not, you know, very heavy. Yeah, so I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And and then your styling because I like your styling. Do you do it yourself? Do you um because you use kind of sort of with your songs? I see you you style or sort of accordingly. Well, it depends on if I of course have a video shoot. I do have yeah. a makeup artist and hair artist, uh, but uh, when I have a show, I do not have a big makeup. Uh, uh, team with me um so it's sometimes it's like that sometimes i do have makeup hair and makeup there and sometimes not but most of the times when i do my concerts i don't i do my makeup mm. in my hair itself is <laughs> ah, okay yeah so yeah it's lovely it's i mean it's um it's great to know you know these these things that how that how that works for you if you if you are because you you have uh, your taste and you have your idea and and it's it's interesting to know how much your styling is yourself you know yeah, your own it's idea yourself. yeah a lot. um but i have to say a little bit it's um it's as well my husband <laughs> oh really <laughs> yes so he has oh, a, a nice. good for me yes um and he is like me even even more he he's like really cool because everything you know with me everything has to glitter and to shine you, you can see it yeah, and yeah. Uh, like that as well and every time when we go shopping and he's like okay maybe try this one and try that one i'm like really oh i'm not in the mood and he's like oh yeah come on that could be really nice for stage and come on so <laughs> so he encourages me to even you know go go out even more and just uh, yeah uh, that's explore. amazing yeah it's, it's great that, yeah it's great that you have that support uh but misha just one more thing what is your wish now for the future what is my wish for the future? My wish for the future is that the people um, can get out of the the big, big panic and the big, um, how do you say, not being so scared and that we all together can kind of go back to a no normality, to a, to a no normal, more normal life. I really see the last months because I've been able to, to perform a lot in the last months. And I've seen people being very not any not that happy anymore. Of course, I do understand, and I am not as happy as I was before either. But still, I wish that we we come back to to that what means being human, and that means feeling not that uh, but not fear, uh, but uh, but more more happiness and more loosen up a little bit and this happiness and the heart and the love um that's what i'm here for and i hope that we can go back to uh to 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 this kind of normality we had before that we go to concerts and i can sing for people and people enjoy that i do see that a lot that people are like really like hungry for live performances again and i hope that we come back to in a in soon we come back to a normality and that we can be happy and laugh together again and yeah, see I, yeah i agree with you and, and also touch each other i think you know just people are just so scared now and for that and i think this is also important that we that we're able to touch each, each other yes you know? yeah. touch physically or touch um, by the heart by singing exactly exactly yeah humanity uh, this uh, what makes uh, makes a human human is this heart and uh, that's and laughing and being together yeah. so socialize and i really hope that that yeah that's my wish for the future for mm. the near future <laughs> beautiful. well it's a beautiful wish and i'm totally with you on that one so um and 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 what is now next for you? Um, you you're saying that these singles are being released, and um, is that you still carrying on with that, even though you are now in lockdown? Yes, uh, tomorrow the lockdown. Um, it's only it's only here the region 
so yeah. our guide is not. I have next week. I have a, um, a TV performance in in ORF in Austria. Oh, <laughs> so wow. you're sitting in Vienna, so maybe you can see it. Yeah. In Österreich, I will perform my two Christmas songs, the song from last year yeah. and from this year. And uh, yeah, um, concerts are coming up again. And um, yeah, um, that's uh, what's the next, uh, what's on the schedule the next year. Okay. So, and so when, uh, what day is the ORF? Um, it's on the 7th of December in the yeah. morning, very mm -hmm. early in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, okay. um, yeah. Guten Morgen, Österreich, as I said, exactly. Oh, okay. ORF yeah. 2, yes, exactly. Okay. So oh, I'm going to perform my songs in a short version live uh, with piano. Yeah. So I'm very much looking forward to that one. Yeah. And um, well, I hope when when you come to Vienna and do a concert here, then um, in the future, then I will please let me know or that I yes, would love to meet you in person. Yeah. Of course, it would be wonderful. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much for the interview that you're interested in artists like us. It's very nice. Yeah. Oh, no, definitely. No, I immediately uh, you caught my eye. I love what you do, definitely. You. Yeah. And now after speaking to you, it's it's so much uh, nicer to know also, you know, a little bit of background about your work and so on. So it's it's wonderful. But have a lovely day in the mountains and, the, and and with all the lovely nature that you have around you. Thank you very much. All the best to you. Thank Stay you. healthy and as, especially as positive as you are. Thank you very oh, much. And you too. Yeah. And we hear from each other. I'll let you know when I'm in Vienna. And maybe yeah. you will have time to watch ORF2. <laughs> yes, I will definitely. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye.